Well, hello, and today another question answered following on from my video on the tent that I used and also the, I did the one on the roll mat and what have you. I've also been asked about what sleeping bag that I use when I go wild camping. So I thought I'd do a quick video about this. Once again, this is just a video answering questions about kit that I've used. I can't give you an overall review on which sleeping bags best to use because I've, <laughs> I've had this one for years and I've not used any other ones since I bought it and before that it was just bog standard sleeping bags I can't even remember what they were so if you're looking for a, a review or what sleeping bag to use then switch off now and go and uh, there's plenty of expert videos out there on YouTube and on the web telling you what uh, what sleeping bags are best to use but I'm just going to give you some opinions on the the, the bag that I use because I've been asked about it. So what do I use? I use this this here, you can see it's uh, made by Rab a uh, sleeping bag. I've had it for five or six years. I bought it when I bought the the down roll mat that I use uh, for winter camping so I was looking for something that was quite warm. So what is it? Let's, uh, let's pull it out here. Oh, right, we come. And here we go, my sleeping bag. It is a Rab Ascent 900. There you go, and it's lovely and oh, it's nice and soft. I should mention uh, I do keep it in its its bag that's come in. It's quite important, I think, from what I remember reading about, to store these sort of uh, items uh, not compressed. It kind of affects the down and what have you in them, and it's a lovely, lovely sleeping bag. One thing I would say though, and I, I think I mentioned this in the video when I did the roll mat, the and I, I was under this impression as well, when I first started getting into wild camping and, and specifically looking at winter camps, I was kind of thinking I need to get a decent sleeping bag and tent, and that's the most important thing. I would stress now for winter camps specifically, and, and summer ones, if you're going to spend money, spend on a decent uh, roll mat or ground mat, I, I can guarantee it's, I think it's more important than, uh, than a sleeping bag. That being said, if you, <laughs> if you spend all your money on a decent uh, ground mat and then only spend a fiver on a, a cheap, nasty uh, sleeping bag, don't uh, don't blame me. You still, you still need a half decent one. So, what do I like? There's not much. I can, this is going to be a short video. There's not much I can say about the sleeping bag. It's it's fine. It's nice and warm. Um, let's have a look. I've got the the site up here. What's its dimensions? Pack size: twenty six by forty five centimeters. Maximum user height. 185 centimetres, hip width, 60, yeah, all this stuff you can get on the uh, yeah, the RAB website and it tells you all the all the bits and bobs about it. I find it packs down fine enough when I uh, go wild camping, uh, the tent's the first thing that goes in the bag. For me, I put the tent right at the bottom, so I pack it into its, uh, its stuff sack, well, not its stuff sack, but its bag for, well, what is it, it could be in here actually, I don't know what you call it, stuff, stuff sack, pack, thing. Yeah, this. <laughs> so you, you pack it away in there and squeeze it down and boom, tighten up and uh, that goes at the bottom of the bag. And it, so it packs down into a, a decent size. It's kept, it's kept me warm uh, when I've been out wild camping in the, the top of the Scottish Hills. Quite quite like getting into it. Once again, I, I, I would really recommend getting a good ground mat. That'll be more important in keeping you warm than a, a sleeping bag. You need to be uh, off the, the ground. Anybody that's watched Bear Grylls or Ray Mears or any of these people know that uh, you have to create a level, a layer of insulation in them. I'm not really uh, into going away and foraging for heather and bra <laughs> bracken. I like to have a good roll mat. Uh, what else can I say about this? this is not much, it's, it's a sleeping bag and it's warm. Uh, down Downsides of it is it's is getting out of it in the morning. <laughs> It's always the hardest part of the camp for me is when I wake up in the morning and I'm nice and, nice and warm and have to get out of this. Or even worse, getting out of this in the middle of the night for a pee. Oh, I can see why some people take pee bottles to their beds <laughs> so they don't have to go out. Especially if it's a bit of a wild night, leaving the, leaving the sleeping bag and then going outside. Oh, there's been a few times I've come back shivering and been really glad to get back into the, into the sleeping bag. It's got a nice big hood in it. Uh, so you can snuggle up, get the hood over the top of you if, if, if need be. The zip on it's really good, so you can zip it up and down without it catching too badly. Ah, uh, it's a nice colour. Yeah, I'm struggling now. It's a sleeping bag, you know what I mean? <laughs> so, 
yeah, that is about it. As I said, this will be a short one, but that, that's what I use, a Rab, a Scent, 900 and it's, it's done the I, I, I do maybe maybe a downside of it is i do take it in the summer and if it's warm uh i'll zip it right down and have it just almost like a, a duvet cover on your bed and sometimes if it's really warm just just have it there and if it gets cold pull it over the top of me and it's maybe too warm maybe too warm for the summer there's something i can tell you it's maybe too warm if you're camping in <laughs> warmer climbs than climates than scotland and but it does yeah for Scotland it's yeah it's it's done me great it's it's a fantastic piece of kit so yeah I'm gonna end the video there uh, thank you for watching and I'll be back on Wednesday with with an adventure out and about in Scotland somewhere stay safe out there right I think we get this back into the gear cupboard oh and I should say if you've got any queries or questions things that I want to go over just leave uh, just leave something in the comment section and I'll see if I can make a short one. Smashing. Right, let's go. Ugh.